I am not happy with my three cube build. Um, it's broke on me. It broke on me right now. You know, it's like I get it running for a race. It does okay, but I just, it's, it's like it keeps breaking on me and stuff. It's an old saw. Or, you know, things break and stuff, but I'm still not even happy with the performance level of it. So I'm thinking about going ahead and moving forward with this project. It's a Johnson Red 2149, and I have a 346 top end to throw on this, and I think that's the path I'm going to go. So today I'm actually planning on pulling the top end off of this, and as long as everything checks out, I'm probably going to go ahead and move forward and start building this today. All right, I got her apart as far as I need to, really. Uh, I got to clean it, though. It's completely packed with dirt and oil and stuff so we're gonna have to give her a good cleaning but here's the top end she's an open transfer you know this is a 2149 top end though um, it is an open transfer design um pretty typical you know probably have plenty of grunt to it but it's not what i'm looking for uh the piston and cylinder look fine though i mean there is no scoring at all so I, I, this was probably a running saw. I uh, I never even tried to start it, but I bet you it was a running saw. The top end is right here that we're going to go with. This is just the cheap aftermarket 346 top end. I like these because if I screw up, it's not so bad to replace. You know what I mean? Maybe later down the road as I get better and I screw up less often, <laughs> I'll start using more OEM stuff. But... I like the cheap ones because I can replace them cheap, you know, and easy. And I, I'm not, I don't worry so much about screwing it up. You know, whatever happens, happens. But, yeah, 346 style top end. Um, closed transfer ports. And it's basically like a miniaturized version of a 372, really. So the stuff that I uh, you see me doing, like the 395, this is probably going to be built pretty much the same way as that 395 um so i mean everything about it I, I, yeah i'm gonna do this pretty much in the same manner as i did that 395 and we'll see what happens in the end uh it's pretty obvious to see why people like or why these these perform so well great uh combustion chambers you know it's a good i mean you just you just Honestly, if you put this thing at 20 thousandths of squish, did support work to it, you'd probably have had a half-decent running saw. I'm going to go a little further than that, though. Um, I am going to cut the combustion chamber. I'm going to try to do 5 degrees. I mean, i got a lot of space there. I'm going to try to do a 5-degree combustion chamber cut. Try to do a 5-degree cut on the combustion chamber five degree cut here and I send, I do all this by hand all my chamber work is pretty much done by hand so I just use a uh, the uh, digital degree wheel and work at setting up my cutters and everything at a five degree and I cut the piston at five degree and then my final tweaks are done with sticky back sandpaper on top of the piston stick it in there and sand it until yeah. You know, just match um you can if you got the a lathe and stuff you can get a little more precise than what i can but that's how i'm doing it i'm doing it by hand so this evening here is i'm probably going to go ahead and get set up to make this chamber cut and then probably till the end of the week i should have all the chamber work done including the piston in which time I can start work at doing the port work and putting it back together. I'm not even gonna look at the numbers because I mean, you see that fin right there? Chances are I'll have that much machined off. I'll probably be down to that one fin right there. Uh, maybe even further by the time I'm done machining it. So what's the point of even looking at the numbers? You know, you know what I mean? I mean, right now I can stick this in there and I probably have, well, you see how much of the skirt sticks out there where it's kind of windowed? Um, about half of that distance is what I have until it starts free porting. 
So I really have no concerns about free porting on this at all. I'm just going to go for it. So, yeah, that's what we're working on right now. Um, we'll see if I can bring you back in and show you the combustion chamber work. Uh, we'll see, though. It's I mean, I'm probably going to have another hour or two until or a couple of hours until I have everything completely done in the combustion chamber. But we'll see. I might bring you in. I might not. Um, if I don't bring you back in, we'll see you next time.